Hi guys, uh, in today's video we will talk about the trade-offs in terrestrial plants between water availability and gas exchange, then we'll talk about the adaptations of xerophytes and hydrophytes and finish with an exam style question. So in terrestrial plants there will always be some kind of trade-off between uh, getting gases into the plant and water. Um, now the gases, uh, namely carbon dioxide, is really required for photosynthesis but it's also important that gases can be moved out of the plant so that uh, during photosynthesis for example it can release uh, oxygen. Uh, water, however, is also needed for respiration and it's also required for support and obviously um, metabolic reactions because they all take place in some kind of solvent uh, need water to happen as well. Now, unfortunately, um, gases can only enter uh, and exit a plant through stomata. So they do need to be open. That's a requirement, which means that you're always going to have a bit of water loss. So it's important that uh, terrestrial plants can reduce the loss of water and also find ways to replace the water. So a lot of plants get round this using structural adaptations and these are kind of just uh, normal terrestrial plants. Um, so it's very often, it's very common to find a waxy cuticle or if you want to be really specific, a thick waxy cuticle in plants and this just uh, sort of stops evaporation from the epidermis pretty much just by um it's it's like akin to putting uh, a piece of cling film over a wet sponge it's going to keep the sponge wet um by literally blocking the evaporation um also the stomata are found on the underside of the leaf and this uh stops them from being exposed to direct sunlight and reduces evaporation due to heating um, also, stomata close at night because there's no reason for them to be open, uh, really, because there's no photosynthesis happening, so uh, it would be a waste to keep them open. And uh, also, some plants, namely deciduous plants, actually lose their leaves in winter. And this is because in winter, um, the ground is usually frozen or generally the temperatures are low. And this means that firstly, there'll be no photosynthesis because the temperatures are too low. And secondly, um, it means that there's less water available because the ground might be frozen. So if there's no photosynthesis, there's no reason really to have stomata. Um, and so you might as well just lose your leaves altogether um, because this uh, just basically stops any water loss. Um, so, uh, xerophytes are plants or xerophytic plants are plants which uh, are adapted to live in very very dry conditions. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.